more befitting than to play some Brenda Fossey since we're talking about liberation here first off I hope you all are praying on the super blue moon in Pisces okay saying your prayers and invocations so I have a message for you of course it's a special occasion as always so I'm just going to jump right on into this I'm going to start off with a quick prayer. I petition and invoke Archangel Michael. I petition and invoke Archangel Gabriel. I petition and invoke Archangel Haniel. I petition and invoke Archangel Metatron for a clear and direct path of light and communication that my prayer and my supplication will be both heard, communicated clearly, and granted by God and the universe, the Most High God, Yeshua. Abata chin hoi, besamai mitano, seme yi kadis, mangista temta, fakade, besamai in the honich, in the hu, bamadar to whom. Yolet in jara chin in satanzade, badela chin in em, yiker belen in ya in demenel. What a fatanam, attack van, kakafu, adeninji, mangis yan tanatana, hylem, misganam, leatherle alemu, amen. Bots and boats and bemefes kadusam and amlak, amen. Box some boats and Memphis could do some and I'm locked. Amen. Box some boats and Memphis could do some and I'm locked. Amen. I petition and invoke protection over my crown chakra. I petition and invoke protection over my third eye agina chakra. I petition and invoke protection over my throat chakra. I petition and invoke protection over my heart chakra. I petition and invoke protection over my solar plexus chakra. I petition and invoke protection over my root chakra i petition and invoke protection over my sacral chakra i petition and invoke protection over my mental body my ethereal body my astral body i petition and invoke protection over my emotional body my physical body from anyone projecting to me spiritually energetically physically to cause any type of imbalance i petition and invoke protection over my household everyone and everything that I love and extend my energy to. I petition and invoke protection over my coming and my going. I petition and invoke protection over my financial stability and my mental stability, overall health and over my collective right now. So without any further ado, collective, I have a quick question. How do y'all feel about this? Y'all tell me. I want all of us to work for the same company and pour all of our energy into it, making it profitable and successful, okay? Now, when it's time to get paid, I want everybody to set up direct deposit using only my checking account and my routing number, okay? And so instead of the money, you know, going into your uh, own uh, bank accounts, everything's going to come into mine instead of yours. Uh, so, you know, everyone's pay will basically only come to me. Now, how's that sound? How y'all feel about that? Agreed? Hell no. Hell no, you would never agree to that. Why should we all do the equal work and then use my bank account number so I'm the only one that can manifest 
uh, 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 abundance off of everyone's energy and work. Okay, so what I say next to you, collective, I say out of the sincerity of my heart, with the most genuine of intentions, I say from a heart space of love for my people. And if you disagree, I still love and respect you. We can all still agree that across all viewpoints, that regardless of what our beliefs are, love is still the highest vibration in this universe. And we can disagree and see things differently and still embody love with each other, okay? There is power in a name, just like there is power in whose bank account you use for direct deposit, right? Because the person whose account you use, whose name you use, is the one that is going to benefit, okay? Because the wealth and money, which is a form of energy, will, de will be deposited into the owner of that account name and number, right? That you use. So just like all your spiritual energy will be deposited into the will and intention of the owner of whatever name you call on when you pray and when you sing. And the owner of that either bank account or that name you petition will use that money and or energy to manifest wealth and abundance and a lifestyle for themselves. When Europeans became the ruling class in the world through violent wars and forced colonization and years later the Vatican, okay, endorsed and supported the chattel slavery of Africans and indigenous people all over the world, they understood and used occult knowledge to manifest wealth and rule over us using our spiritual power. They studied and learned that if they could pull the spiritual power and energy of the African woman to fuel and power their personal intentions and requests, to the deities that they offer up your energy to that they could manifest wealth and abundance beyond their wildest dreams. So during chattel slavery, when we would pray and sing, instead of praying and singing using the original name of our God, so our prayers would be granted and heard, they replaced the name of Yeshua, the most high God, with one of their gods. Like you're setting up direct deposit using someone else's bank account and routing number, right? So that they can cash in instead of you. What they did was they took the letter J from, they took the letter J from uh, the god or the planet that they named Jupiter, okay? And they added it to the Greek god Zeus, okay? To come up with Jesus, okay? Now understand something. This is what the Roman Catholics did. The American alphabet did not even exist during the time of Christ, nor did the letter J. The ascended master that became the Christ came out of East Africa. All languages at that time derived out of African languages which evolved over time. Xavier was his name, and he earned the title of the Christ because he mastered himself, as did Siddhartha, the Buddha, okay, Kuan Yin, and many others, okay? They even replaced his image with a European man with blonde hair and blue eyes to reaffirm their spell. Every time you pray and sing in the name of that Roman God, they channel that energy into a ritual that's used to manifest wealth and abundance for themselves as we remain an underclass in society, economically, spiritually, mentally, energetically. The, this whole country was built off of our ancestors, blood, sweat, and tears by using the spiritual energy of the black woman. When we call on that Roman God, Jesus, in agony and prayer and songs, while we were are, y'all know what word I'm saying, I'm not allowed to say it, but taken advantage of sexually, while we were whipped and brutalized, okay? Uh, and, and, and we gave our energy to them unknowingly at the same time, in our prayers, okay? And in our singing. This is so much, and there is so much power in a name, just like that of an account number 
to a bank account, okay? And who it belongs to. That is why it is important that we use the correct name just like using the correct bank account, okay? So that's why our sister, Shavi Zayn, blessed us with this petition to break that spell and connection they have our energy rigged up to so that we can call again the correct name of God, Yeshua, and use our energy to manifest abundance and build wealth independently and govern ourselves in body, mind, and spirit. Not be programmed in a colonized, capitalist, shallow, surface level mindset. Okay? You'll already see what the enemy does when you let him run loose and do as he pleases with the minds of our children. Okay? Omitting slavery, the black holocaust from our history in Florida and Texas. Okay? And distracting our kids with other humans' personal sexual preferences instead of focusing on math and science they got our children focusing on people's personal sexual preferences and choices which is none of our business they would never attempt to alter the holocaust to the children of the european jews they have no respect for us so if you're ready to dismantle this corrupt system once and for all spiritually touch and agree with me saying this petition that Shavi Zane, our sister has prepared to break the spell once and for all. I declare and decree the melanated woman cuts all cord attachments to the Vatican and any part of its structure. We withdraw our energy and destroy all contracts with this entity from this life and all past lives on behalf of ourselves and our ancestors in spirit and in flesh across all timelines and dimensions i declare and decree the melanated woman cuts all cord attachments to the vatican and any part of its structure we withdraw our energy and destroy all contracts with this entity from this lifetime and all past lives on behalf of ourselves and our ancestors in spirit and in flesh across all timelines and dimensions I declare and decree the melanated woman cuts or cord attachments to the Vatican and any part of its structure. We withdraw our energy and destroy all contracts with this entity from this lifetime and all past lives on behalf of ourselves and our ancestors in spirit and in flesh across all timelines and dimensions in the name of the Most High God, Yeshua. I say, Amen. And now I'm going to finish us off with my petition. There it is. Burnt, cheap, and roasted. In the name of Yeshua, the Most High God, I profess that light code lockdown is over. I command justice for all divine anointed high priests and high priestesses that abide in the highest vibration of love undestroyable by any lower frequency or vibrational thought, action, or manifestation of man in his chaotic, distorted energy. I call for judgment and dismantle by fire of the Holy Spirit every government agency, military, coven and or cult, spiritual practitioner that under the instructions and orders of Elon Musk and Bill Gates and any other self-appointed imposed authority figure use their option of free will given to all by God to carry out orders to cause spiritual, energetic, physical, and financial imbalances to impact the overall quality of our lives in a negative way, all in the name of ego, greed, self-indulgence, impatience, and selfishness, which directly opposes God's plan for us to live our lives in fullness and abundance. I call judgment on Elon Musk and Bill Gates for financing, recruiting, and orchestrating the persons within inner circle members of the NSA and military to experiment on us through illegally implanting nanochips wherein used to track, monitor, harass, induce illnesses, death, and conduct experiments on us like animals 
or in the name of research for cures to diseases and medical advancements, I call judgments on every individual member of the NSA, CIA, FBI, police, military, coven, and or cult, spiritual practitioners, secret societies, masons, organizations named and unnamed that accepted money or the promise of money and or opportunities to abuse and misuse their power and access to resources. Anyone that had their hand in on this attached to any of these atrocities and injustices that were committed against God's anointed directly or indirectly, whether they participated in gang stalking, spell work, blocking finance or career, catfishing relationships, spreading lies and all manner of confusion in your family, your community or jobs and causing all manner of hardships for God's anointed chosen ones. I call judgment on each and every last one of you. I call judgment on any and all military personnel, direct and indirectly using the free will given by God, some to give the orders and others to carry them out, to use energy weapons on anointed chosen ones, to cause pain, memory loss, and death on us. I call judgment on Elon Musk and Bill Gates. You will never again use your money, resources, or self perceived authority on earth to give orders to organize any further attacks spiritually energetically physically or financially against God's anointed chosen ones the next order given against God's anointed chosen ones any of them will result in an instant loss to your mental stability an instant loss to your physical health an instant loss to all of your financial stability and obstacles blocking your path as you experience non-stop endings to who and what you love the most to prevent you from further attacking God's people I call judgment on all members of the NSA military FBI CIA police Masons, every public and secret society, employees of the judicial systems, coven and or cults, spiritual practitioners, and anyone that attach themselves to help attack anointed ones directly or indirectly that is not of the light. You will take no further actions to stall or cause endings through gang stalking, spell work, or abusing by blocking using technology. To do so will result in an instant loss to your stability mentally, an instant loss to your physical health, an instant loss to your financial stability. You will experience obstacles and non-stop endings to who and what you love the most to prevent you from further attacking God's anointed people. And last, I call for justice to be restored to all God's anointed ones that have been robbed of their wealth, spiritually, monetarily, all stolen money through manipulation of technology, social media, YouTube, inheritance in the form of money, payments, real estate, stocks, bonds, spiritual gifts that have been hidden, slowed and stagnated, misappropriated or held back to be returned with the swiftness to their rightful owners. We call back our spiritual power and our energy and we reclaim our spiritual identities. Our energy is for the manifestations of our abundance only. Any person that works for any government agency, court, US mail carrier or worker, judge or lawyer that has knowledge of stolen or manipulated money, inheritance, payments being held, hidden or stagnated by YouTube or any other entity with the ability to do so, you will disperse what is owed to God's anointed chosen ones immediately. Any person that is aware and still holds back, you will suffer an instant loss to your mental stability, an instant loss to your physical health, an instant loss to your financial stability, and you will lose who and what you love the most and have obstacles and nonstop endings occurring until everything that was stolen and held back is returned to its rightful owners. So let it be written, so let it be done. Amen. Ashe. So let it be written, so let it be done. Amen. Ashe. So let it be written, so let it be done. Amen. Ashe. So let it be written, so let it be done. Amen. Ashe. So let it be written, so let it be done. Amen. Ashe. Your time is up, devil. Yes. Your time is up. I am Kuan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. Y'all be blessed.